about eight weeks ago, um, I was at home. My wife said, hey, Todd, come take a look at this. There's a, there's a man driving coast to coast to coast in, a, in an Austin Healy, similar to ours. And I went and watched the, uh, the article, and um, it was about John and the whole story about um, him driving for drive-away cancer. And the more I watched it, the more I watched it, the more intrigued I got because I, I have a love of British cars and I have a, an Austin Healy very similar. And I have a very long history of cancer in my family. So there were two things that were very important to me. Um, and I went out and searched and found his name attached to a Facebook account that had about 50 pictures of him upside down in the hood working on a car. You know, he's breaking down. I can help. So I, I contacted the person. They got me in touch with John, and it turned out um, at about the halfway point, the car had started to deteriorate and started to get a little bit bad. So I hooked up with him for a day in South Carolina, uh, you know, kind of sight unseen, uh, and we met, and it was immediately apparent that he was an amazing man. Right? The, the trip across the country, the trials that he'd already gone through, and the car was you know, really, it, it was bad shape when he left, and it was, it was halfway and was getting even worse. So we spent a day um, driving back and forth in South Carolina, picking up parts, uh, finding a guy with a lift, putting the car up and trying to figure out what we could salvage. Um, when the car went up on the lift, it became apparent that it was in bad shape. There was so much rust. Um, parts of the frame were, were basically gone. We couldn't do much to the engine at that point because we took it out. We were afraid the whole front of the car would just cave in on itself. So we patched up what we could, and then we kind of just spent the rest of the day together. Um, and, and the next day, and it became real apparent right away um, how much he and I shared a lot of the same experiences or a lot of the same loves. His um, passion and desire on the car is infectious, and his cause for driveway cancer is its such an amazing cause, and it was so important to me. Um, we had met literally just at a gas station, um, and it was right next to my house, and he pulled the car in and we pumped gas. In the five minutes that we were there, there were more than 10 people that just gathered around the car. And it was amazing how many stories of people that had had cancer in their family or were currently fighting cancer um, or had been in remission. And, you know, I know in my family we've had a lot, so I, I kind of thought, not that we were unique, but it's not something you talk a lot about, right? I mean, it's not, it's not cocktail conversation. Um, and what John does when he drives his car around is he lets people know that you're not alone. This is not, you feel isolated when you have this battle, whether it's you or a loved one. And if there's, if there's nothing else that is powerful about this car, is the feeling it brings to people that you're not alone. There are other people that are sharing the same experiences, that are fighting the same fight. Um, and you know, the, the two messages of you're not alone and keep fighting, keep pushing, and anything you know, that we can do to, to talk more or to, to push the cause further, to just keep going, right? Keep pushing, keep going. Um, it's, I'm, I'm so excited, so excited to do it.